I know, I know, before y'all come at me, before y'all come at me, cause I already know what y'all about to say. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm just now getting on the camera. Y'all know I'll be on the camera at like six, 4 a.m. I start the vlogs off super duper early, but y'all, I got up at like eight today and edited deployment day 22 so make sure y'all go check that video out before you watch this one so you know what happened yesterday so when i talk about anything you're all caught up and you you know what's going on because you know something new happens every single day so uh yeah y'all yesterday we had a nice little pumpkin carving competition we got drunk got lit had a great time with ethan and anna we said our goodbye our final goodbyes to them um i'm not gonna see ethan again until we get back to Colorado and I'm gonna see Anna again at the airport because she's gonna drive my car back for me We're just gonna drive up there and then Anna's gonna wait at the airport and then take my car back to her house So they could put it in storage once Beyonce gets a storage unit on the 28th y'all we got a date We have a date and it's before the 31st So they got before they got the 28th 29th 30th and then they got to turn in everything on 31st. So they got three days to get all this stuff out of here. And I think that's a good enough time because we have small, like our stuff is small. The we, we don't have a lot of like small stuff. The biggest issue would be like the bed and the couch because it's super heavy and you just need like 15 people to bring it up the steps. Like Deontay, Ethan and Jackson were the ones that moved the couch into this house and they was fucking struggling. And all they did was go from one building to another building. So they got to take it all outside and Deontay's just going to get a U-Haul and we're just going to put, they're going to put all the stuff in the U-Haul and take it to storage. And I'm just so sad that like, I don't get to be here for any of this part. Like I just got to leave my house, like just the way it is. Like somebody's going to walk in the door and we just going to come home. Everything going to be just sitting here and nobody's going to be here. Like I can't, I just can't process that. Like, oh, I'm, I'm really going to miss my house, y'all. But yeah, um, so I got up at 8, edited that vlog, and then I posted that vlog. Uh, it was kind of a sad video. I don't want to say sad. It was like a bittersweet video because at the end when we were saying bye, everybody was kind of getting emotional. I had to cut out a lot because it was like, oh, Lord. But uh, I didn't cry or anything. I just, I'm going to really miss them. Like, they're like real friends. They're like family at this point, all the things they do for us. But uh so yeah, I edited that vlog and posted it this morning. Um, I haven't even taken Kyra outside yet. Uh, I ended up taking a shower because it took forever for the video to download because it was a long video. It was like an hour and five minutes. So make sure y'all watch the whole video because it was a lit vlog. But um, so yeah, I just took a shower and I uh, just got out the shower. I just got off the phone with Deontay, so I didn't start the vlog because Deontay ended up calling me because this is around the time we'd be talking. And uh, he told me a few things that I needed to do before uh, I left. It was, it's not a few. It's only one thing, really. But I thought I only had to worry about cleaning, babe. Now you want me to worry about the internet? <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, so, yeah, change of plans because today I was just going to take the kids outside um and stuff like that just gonna take the kids to that little pavilion area that i showed y'all in the video yesterday and i was just gonna sit there play with the ball with the dog run around like i didn't want to do much today because i just want to kind of relax watch tv all that cleaning yesterday taking stuff out to the dumpster and then turning up ethan and anna at the end of it all it was like i was tired i was over it y'all dance i just got off the phone with me and he just needs me to go up to the uh xfinity place our internet people he just needs me to go up there and tell them that we need to cancel or we just basically have to see if we can put the account on hold for nine months not necessarily cancel like the whole thing with them and then we'd have to restart it but just see if we can put it on hold for nine months because we'll be back you know and we just want to just pick up where we left off instead of having to get a whole new router and all the other stuff that's just too much that's too much so I have to go to I have to go up to Xfinity today. Even though I ain't want to leave today, but you know it's all right. We just get some get some exercise, get out the house. 
So I'm gonna go up there today and see if they can uh, pause our account for us for a little bit. And then after that, I was just gonna take the girls outside, let them run around, lose some energy. It's already 2.30. So like half of the day is already gone. It took a while for that video to download and the kids just been in here playing, they ate breakfast. I haven't eaten anything yet, but y'all know. I don't, I don't even be worried about myself. So yeah, I'm about to get the girls dressed and then just head up to Xfinity and get that done um, while I'm up and at them. And then yeah, we're just gonna come back home, go outside, chill, have a nice little relaxing day. I just wanna enjoy the last couple of days that I have. I have what, five more days, four more days after this, we leave on Tuesday. So I just wanna enjoy the TV, enjoy my house, enjoy the couch, enjoy the girls, enjoy Kyra because we're gonna be leaving Kyra. And I know Serenity's gonna be really sad about leaving Kyra because she loves Kyra. So yeah, I just wanna just enjoy what we got right now. Now that we have a plan, we have a date, a way to the airport, a way to get my car back from the airport, people who are gonna move everything out and get it to storage. Got a date to when we can get the storage. So it just feels like everything has been worked out finally. So I just don't feel like super stressed about it anymore. I just wanna relax and enjoy the last couple of days while I can probably just take the girls out, explore Colorado. Um, and then, oh yeah, today is Thursday. Do I wanna go there? I don't know, we might be going somewhere later. I don't even wanna tell y'all where it is because like the way I changed my mind about doing things so fast, yeah, I don't even want to put that in the vlog and have to edit it all out because I didn't really go do it. But there is this little event that's going on later that I had found last week just so, you know, we could figure out what we was going to do with Ethan and Anna. But it was today, which is Thursday, October 20th. And this is the day that they're leaving, so they wouldn't be here to do it. But it doesn't start till 7 p.m. So, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to decide if I want to do it or not because being social and going out places by myself and just with the kids is like I don't even like going to the store with the with the girls they just too much for me sometimes like too much but yeah so that we have that going on later maybe um so yeah pretty set day pretty set day so thank y'all for tuning in welcome to deployment day 23 23 y'all we almost at 25 we almost at a whole month on the 27th it'll be a whole month so Almost made it a month, only eight more months to go. The girls are dressed and we're ready to go to uh, Xfinity to figure out this internet. Uh, that thing that I was talking about earlier today in the vlog, well, just a few minutes ago for me, but earlier for y'all in the vlog where I was talking about uh, we might go somewhere, but don't really know yet. I am so happy that I looked it up and I went to the website because yeah, it's free where we're going. Like the event itself, it's free, but you still needed to register and get tickets. So I registered, I got tickets, they just sent to my email. So that is a for sure thing that we're gonna do tonight. And I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. I'm gonna just wait till we get there and see how it is. Cause I've never been, never done it. I just saw it um, on one of the little like military spouses support pages. And yeah, so I just think that's gonna be something cute and fun for us girls. Hold on, my hair gets on my nerves. Y'all don't understand how much my hair gets on my nerves. But I just think that'd be something cute and fun for us girls to do tonight to celebrate Halloween. I don't have nobody else to hang out with but my babies. Come on, you need to wear your pink Crocs, not your yellow ones. Oh, my pink Crocs? Yeah. Even my rainbow ones. Yeah, go put those on because it has pink and red and all that. So that's going to be something cute and fun for us to do later since these kids going to be my best friends for the next five days. <laughs> I'm not going to have nobody to hang out with, nothing to do. So hang with them. Just hang with us. It's going to be us. They're going to be they're gonna be my road dogs. So anyway, just stay tuned so y'all can see what that is. It's Like I said, it's at 7 o'clock. And it's only 2.40 now. So I'm about to uh, brush Kehlani's hair up like into some two little ponytails or something real quick because this style is getting on my nerves. My nails are short enough now. I'm just, I gotta do something to her hair at some point before we leave. I wanna do like a nice protective style while we're here. But I don't know if I can braid with my nails like this, but I didn't try. So 
Uh, at some point in the next couple days, I'm gonna have to wash the, her, well, both of their, I'm gonna have to wash their hair and redo their hair before we go. And yeah. <sighs> problem after problem after problem after problem after problem. So, it's fixed up Kelani's hair. Serenity's, of course, down there attached to my leg. And as we're sitting in the bathroom, all the power just shuts off. There's no power. Nowhere. And this internet off. Can't watch nothing, can't do nothing. And on top of that, y'all, guess what else is off? My phone. So, we don't have no internet. We don't have no way to contact nobody. Ethan and Anna left at one o'clock, it's three o'clock. So I can't just go over their house, use their internet. I'm, I can't call Beyonce. I'm texting him, my messages are delivering, but they're not going through. And the other day on the phone, Beyonce was telling me he doesn't know when they're gonna decide to cut the, the utilities off. And I'm praying that it's just some issue with the power. And it wasn't that they got cut off because he left and, I don't know, like it was some big old issue with making him pay till November. Like, I don't understand why they couldn't just cut it off on the 31st. So we kind of just was like, okay, y'all don't know when y'all gonna be able to cut it off. Well, we're gonna be here till the 31st, like it's paid. So, you know, but we only need it for a certain amount of time. And they never got back with us with a, a day and the power so the power the power's off right now internet's off my phone is off i'm freaking out finally on a day where i'm feeling good i want to go outside i want to go do things i want to the devil got to mess with me and now i can't even call anybody to talk to anybody about it y'all are the only people i can talk to about it because you're not seeing this as it as it happens and i don't even know if i'll be able to upload the video and my phone is going to die soon so i don't even know how long i'll be able to vlog so i can't just go to ethan because i can't just go to ethan on house and charge it <sighs> Problem after fucking problem, bro. I swear. It's a problem after problem. Like, I just got off the phone with Beyonce. Happy that we finally got a plan. Finally, when we have a plan, and I'm not stressing about everything else. I'm just relaxing, trying to enjoy the day, trying to be happy, trying to take the kids outside. Got plans for later. The kids are being semi-good, listening. This shit has to happen. I'm so fucking mad. I'm shaking. I'm trying my fucking hardest not to cry because today started out so good. Felt so good. Even though I'm sad that Ethan and I is leaving. I'm sad that Beyonce is gone. I'm sad that we're losing the house. I'm happy that I'm not stressed out about all the storage. We got a plan for it and all the power just cuts off. And I can't even call anybody to get it fixed because I'm on Wi-Fi on my phone right now. Whatever. I'm about to just go to Xfinity and uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll see y'all some whenever. <sighs> okay, guys. So fortunately, there's a charger in my car. So my phone that's about to die is charging. And I'm about to ride past Ethan and Anna's house to see if they've left yet because I need to make some calls. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do in this situation. I try my best not to freak out because we still have the kids. And I'm praying that it's just an issue with the office because I'm seeing the maintenance man walking around like this, this, the head of the maintenance man is walking around talking on the phone and saying he doesn't know what's going on. So I'm hoping it's something that's going on with everybody or just everybody in my building or something that's just not, something that's just not ours. Like, bro, I'm about to cry. Really about to cry. Like this has to happen today, now, when I'm feeling good, when everything is feeling fine. I'm sad, but I'm feeling fine. Come on. Oh, I wanna put our pumpkins out, y'all. <laughs> Go get my package. Okay. 
Okay. Bye, guys. Try up, fly safe. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk again for the last time. I know. Daniel, see you guys. Oh, I see you at the airport. Yeah, yeah. You can say bye. Yeah, I know. Can you go give her some hugs? Bye. Give her a hug, Rennie. Okay. okay. Guess not. Ooh. Bye, Ethan. Bye. Travel safe. Bye. Okay, vlog. Uh, I'm sorry I've been off the camera for a while. Last thing you probably saw was us saying bye to Ethan and Anna. I was just kind of in here venting and crying and, you know, I'm just going through it. I'm mostly just so upset because I was genuinely just like so freaking happy today. Like I wasn't sad that Beyonce was gone. I mean, I was sad, but it wasn't like a consuming sad. I wasn't super sad that Ethan and Anna were leaving. My anxiety wasn't getting to me because they were leaving and I'm gonna be here the last five days by myself with no help or nobody to talk to or come, you know, I don't come to my aid if I need it. You know, and then look, I'm trying to think, I'm still trying to think positive. Like I'm, I'm happy that this situation decided to happen before Ethan and Anna got on the flight. And then on top of that, their flight ended up getting delayed. So I had a little bit longer to talk to them. So, you know, it was like, you know, it was nice just to be able to talk to them one more time. I'm really just going through it right now, y'all. Beyonce and I are just not, not in a good place. I don't know if the power shutting off is what's stressing him out or whatever, but I honestly just don't even care. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so he couldn't really call them. So I tried to call them and they said if we didn't make the we had to make the payment before six um for it to turn on today and there's just no way for him to make the payment because he can't freaking access nothing the call kept dropping we couldn't even talk to each other internet wasn't loading so he's just gonna wait until he can go to an area tomorrow so fingers crossed that everything goes right with that and we'll be able to be back in the house tomorrow we only just have to spend tonight at Ethan and Anna's house and we only have to spend tonight at Ethan and Anna's house and tomorrow we can at least be back in the house and with all of our stuff and stuff so we were supposed to be going to a movie night in the park I got tickets for the girls and I. I told you that earlier today, but the movie started at seven and it started at seven and it's already seven now. And I just honestly, I don't have the energy to go. I'm sad because it, it was honestly free and they're just showing movies, they're giving popcorn. You sit on the grass or in chairs and watch movies, a Halloween movie with the kids. And that was gonna be the plan today when I was super happy and good with life. But honestly, right now, I all I want to do is eat and go to bed. I haven't even eaten because I was supposed to take Kyra to the park and then I was going to eat once we got back from the Xfinity place. But I didn't even go to the Xfinity place and I still have yet to take Kyra outside. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to run home. I'm going to get us, you know, some clothes and stuff for the night, some blankets, whatever. And... Uh, you know, get the diapers, wipes and stuff, whatever we need for overnight. And then I'm also uh, get uh, Kyra and uh, bring her over here. So she's not over there alone. Yeah. I'm sorry, I haven't been <laughs> vlogging or been on the camera in some days and just because I'm very sick very well I feel so much better today but the last two days especially Friday um, and my birthday was very very painful and um, uh, it's believed 
to be the C word you can't mention. But I didn't go to a hospital or anything. I was just in so much pain. I was shivering, I was shaking, having fever. And as you can see, I'm not home. We are on an air mattress at Ethan and Oz's house. And uh, I'll tell y'all all about that at another time. It's just another smack in the face from life, a big change from life. And no. We're not good. <laughs> so we're uh, we're all stressed out. So I don't know when I'm gonna post this or be back, but it's okay. I'm okay. My birthday was yesterday. Like I said, I didn't do anything but lay in bed, take care of the kids. Come on, Kalani, so we can finish. But I just haven't really felt like vlogging because it's just so much going on. But it is getting worse and worse. <laughs> but all right, y'all. I'll see y'all whenever. All right, vlog. Well, I haven't been up here in a while. I think I showed y'all a little clip of what I was going through, but today is Monday, October 24th. So it's our last official day here in Colorado. And um, like, I'm already really sad about it. But it's like, there's so much going on right now. I can't even focus on being sad about it. Like, I felt good yesterday, but I just wanted to lay down yesterday and relax and didn't really do that. Kind of spent most of my day fighting with the internet. Um, and it's still not working for some reason here at Honest House. Like, I don't know what's wrong with it. It normally works for me perfectly fine anytime I come over here, but it's like the Wi-Fi box is on. Everything is on. It just, it's not even showing up on my phone. Yesterday it was showing up on my phone, but it would disconnect me. And then I had to like reconnect myself manually. And it was like tedious and I was like complaining. And now I'm over here upset because it's not even connecting at all. It's not even showing up on the list of like, in, like well, Wi-Fi at all. So I haven't been posting. Cause I don't have internet. I can't even talk on the phone. I can't even send a text message through. I'm here by myself and now I can't even talk to anybody. My house doesn't have uh, any power. Uh, the, the day that I was the, the last video that I was recording for y'all, I think was on Friday or Thursday or whenever we were supposed to go to that movie thing. Uh, the power went off and I came over here to get in contact with Deontay because I needed the Wi-Fi since <sighs> my phone sat on. The service here stinks anyway. So it's like, came over here to get in contact with Deontay about it. And he said he was gonna see what he could do, but it's gonna be turned off on the 31st anyway. So there's no need to pay all this extra money to get it turned back on so fast when we're leaving tomorrow. But yeah, so for the last couple of days, Deontay has been trying to get stuff together to get that back on. But uh, it's just, it's not, it's not coming together right now. It's not coming together right now. So the, the power is still messed up over there and nobody can figure out why. So there's no internet at my house. So me, Serenity, there's Kyra 
our last, this is our last day with Kyra. And Kehlani's over there on sleeping. We've just been here with baby girl and Koa. And yeah, see, it says that, oh, well, it just blinked off. I don't know, but it's, it's not even showing up on my phone now. We've been here at Anna's house for the last four days and I've been fighting with the Wi-Fi, running back and forth to my house, giving the girls a bath, changing clothes with my flashlight. And yeah, I've been, I've just been sick. I've been really sick. <coughs> and um, yeah, I feel a lot better now. The first day that I was sick, I was in bed. I just couldn't even move. I didn't even care about the Wi-Fi. Like I was just like, I'm going to sleep. So I slept all day. Then the next day I slept really. And then, you know, yesterday I kind of got up. I cleaned up in here a little bit, but I'm just cleaning up some more now. Like I'm cleaning up the dishes that we dirtied up since being here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna run to the, or no, I'm gonna go to like a Starbucks or something to try to get some Wi-Fi to let Ethan and Anna know what's going on, see if there's anything they could do about it from their end. And then I'm gonna go home, give the girls a bath. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna clean up everything that I can off that checklist. I'm just gonna vacuum and sweep and mop, throw away any dishes we might need, probably just lay in the bed for a little bit just to feel it. Put the, put the blankets and the rest of the pillows and stuff away. And uh, yeah, that's really all that's about to go on. That's my day. I can't talk to anybody and it's freaking me out because I'm, 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 I am feel like I'm already here alone with the kids and now I don't even have any internet access to talk to my family or talk to Deontay or talk to Ethan and Anna. I don't have any internet to talk to anybody. And then, and then all weekend, the phone has just been going in and out. Like we'll get on the phone for three seconds and then it'll just go out like, I'm scared. We still have to get to the airport. There's things we still need before we leave. I'm tired of this. I'm really so tired of it. I'm tired of trying to stay optimistic. I haven't cried in days. I just don't understand why all of this has to be happening. Deontay and I are both stressed out. He's not understanding like how how afraid and helpless I feel out here. <laughs> and he's stressed out over there. He's trying his best to fix all of this last minute. <laughs> and it's kind of just putting a strain on us right now, honestly. We're not doing good right now, already. But everybody's stress level is so high trying to get this move done. Everybody's not understanding where everybody's coming from. I just want to wake up in my bed. And get up and clean the house. And go to the store for dinner. I just want... I just want to go back to how it was. I don't understand why all this has to be happening right now. I gotta get sick. I gotta live in Ethan and all this house and they're not even here.
Deontay's not here. I got you. We're at each other's necks. Bye. In the worst time possible. Every, we're supposed to be working together. And it's just... I couldn't feel more alone than what I do. Than what I do now. I just... I'm happy that I have the kids, but... You know, they come with their own their own stresses, but <laughs> I'm still getting up and I'm trying. I'm trying to do what's in my power and not I'm not trying to worry about what's not in my power like the internet not working right now <laughs> and the power at the house being out <sighs> or how they're going to fix that or, or work that out I don't I don't know Just, there is no point in paying all this extra money to for power if we're not even gonna be there. I get it, cause the can't we can't make a payment to it. There there can't be a payment made towards it till like the twenty eighth. So um, yeah, there's just no point in paying it if nobody's gonna be there. I mean, they're they're gonna be there to move the stuff out, but they're doing that during the day. They're doing that during the, during the daytime anyway, so they wouldn't necessarily need the power for anything. So Ethan and Anna's house staying here was fine with me. Like, and then just going back and forth to the house, it would be fine with me as long as the their Wi-Fi was working. And I don't even know why it's not working. I've never had this many problems trying to connect to their Wi-Fi. Literally, all I have to do is walk up to the door and it just connects me. And they're here with tab, they have their tablets, computers, their phones. And it's like, I'm me and Kehlani's tablet and the TV is the only thing that has to connect to the internet and it's not working. And they don't have a TV remote, so you have to download the remote. And I, we could barely even watch TV. I don't even think we've finished a whole entire movie in the last four days because like I, the remote has to connect to the TV and that's how you can tr control it. And sometimes the TV would disconnect from the internet and sometimes my phone would disconnect from the internet. And then this morning there was this magical moment where both of them was just working perfectly fine. The remote was controlling the TV, everything was working. I turned on something on Netflix and then it just disconnected from my phone and now it's not even showing up from my on my phone at all. It started at 4 a.m. this morning. So this is kind of, I didn't, I haven't been vlogging because I've been sick. And then the last couple days have literally just been me trying to fight with the internet. Because even if I do vlog, I can't post it. I'm just trying to give y'all a glimpse of the last day in Colorado. It is not a good one. The last couple days haven't been good ones. They've just been me just either sleeping or trying to keep myself busy to distract myself from my thoughts but I'm, I'm scared I'm here by myself I don't want to go outside I don't like going outside I want to hurry up and get on the airplane but I'm scared for when it's time to get on the airplane because we don't have everything that we need before we leave um because we have to I'm scared I don't know how I'm going to get all these bags and the move the car seats and the kids throughout the airport just got to get it into the airport I already hate going into the airport I already get anxiety getting going into an airport <laughs> then we have a layover I'm trying to sell the items on Facebook marketplace so I can make a little bit of money to get some gas and to get some money and stuff to eat at the airport and I can't even do that because I don't have any internet to get in contact with anybody to, to sell things. Like I can tell you this morning I was telling everybody, yes, it was available, setting up pickup times. I was going to start selling stuff over at the house and cleaning today, but the internet's just not working. So.
So yeah, I'm just gonna try to clean up while Kehlani asleep to at least get one thing done. And then uh, get out of their food, Kyra. Jumping in to tell y'all what's going on. Hopefully, by the time you see these videos posted, everything will be going on a little bit better in my life by the time I'm editing these and posting it. Wash these dishes up, just play with it while Kehlani sleep. And then once she wakes up, I'll actually try to go somewhere and get some connection. Kids are doing good. So, hey. So, yeah, they're still doing good. You know, they just want to run around and watch TV and stuff. It's kind of hard doing that here. So, whenever you're seeing this clip and I'm editing it, I just hope that or in different circumstances, because right now, right now I just don't even see a way out. Everything that I was scared of is happening. Okay guys, so don't even know why I'm vlogging because it feels pointless to even vlog with the fact that I can't post anything, but the house is empty officially. I mean, there's nothing more that I could really do cleaning wise without the power being on. Like I can't vacuum the living room or anything since they already disconnected the power and this is what I wish I had some god darn internet but since uh since you see me at Starbucks I went I just went ahead and went to Xfinity since we were already in the car and I had them cancel the internet uh so it'll be canceled on the 31st and I'm thinking I'm just gonna disconnect the router and everything and take it with me to Ethan and Anna's house because um they're the ones that's turning it in for us i mean i should i could i might as well just turn it in now they were the ones that was going to turn it in for us and i was gonna you know have the internet until it was time for me to leave but you know for some reason nothing ever seems to go according to plan and right now we're all the way off the rails off plan and it's just like we started a little bit off the rails with the whole get up and move thing and everything that I've been worried about this whole time is like happening. I'm scared. I'm ar I was already scared and nervous to be here in this state like by myself. And then the fact that I don't have like any internet and I can't talk to anybody is just making it any worse. It's making it worse. And I know I'm saying the same things over and over guys, but I'm just I can't get in any contact with Deontay about the Wi-Fi password. Nothing is delivering. So yeah, right now I'm just picking up the little bit of stuff that we had left out that I was gonna do today originally, but you know, under different circumstances like I still was hoping we'd have the tv and the the internet and I could at least just be in here selling things cleaning I'm kind of happy the last four days finally flew by and today's the last day but like being back in the house I'm kind of thinking I don't know how I would have did the four days here but it would have been a lot easier than what it is at Anna's house because the girls at least have their own room and can mess up here because it's our house. So, 
right now I'm just waiting on somebody to come and pick up Serenity's potty. I'm selling that and she's supposed to be meeting me here at 11, but it's 11.30 and still not here. So yeah, uh, I'm about to just clean what I can, sweep, mop, scrub some walls. I'll wait for her until like 12.30. After that, I, I need to leave. I need to get me some, I really need to get me some food, some food in my stomach. I need something to eat. So, thinking about maybe stopping at McDonald's or something and just sitting there with the Wi-Fi eating and I guess looking at my phone, talking, seeing what I could do. All right, guys, so I took a shower, cleaned the bathroom, nothing left under the cabinets. Unfortunately, I can't vacuum the carpets right now since we have no power, but I promise I clean yeah. as much as I can, y'all. I scrub walls, I mop floors, yep. and uh, yeah, I, I did as much as I could. So uh, here's the room. Room basically looks the same except everything's off the bed. And closet just has Deontay's TV box and like stuff that he has to hang up. So the room is done. I'm saying goodbye, saying our final goodbyes to the house. Even though it's technically not our final goodbyes because we'd still have to come back at six today to sell the shelf. Because I have somebody coming, because I have somebody coming to pick up uh, Kehlani and Serenity, Kehlani and Serenity shelf. So I have to be here back by six for that. So, yeah, uh, everything's basically done. Yep. So this is our final goodbyes to the house. So this is our goodbyes. Everything's over here, packed away. Kitchen is empty. Nothing left in here. So, oh. girls' bathroom is done. Empty in there. Empty in there. It's empty everywhere in here. And then their room is mega empty. And then just in their closet is the stuff that they need to go to the storage. So this is their stuff for storage. And yeah, basically everything else that's left in here is, uh, and there we go. Uh, I keep walking around because I just, I know I need to go. I got all the girls toys in the car to take to Once Upon a Child. I need to go get us some lunch and then something for dinner. I gotta go back to the Starbucks to see if hopefully I got any Wi-Fi signal or so I can get some Wi-Fi signal. And uh, hopefully somebody responded to my messages by now. It is three o'clock. I texted them at nine, Beyonce and Ethan and Anna. So yeah, hopefully somebody saw it and they yeah. help respond by now, especially Deontay, because if he could just respond with the information to log into the internet, I could just log in to the Xfinity hotspot. So I got a lot done today to be like coming off of the weekend that I'm coming off of, like being sick and on an air mattress and at Anna's house. So I got a lot done today from that. Got to Xfinity, got the internet, you know, disconnected, came here, got the house clean as good as I can. And now I'm just kind of sitting in it. It's empty and all of our stuff is out. I really liked our house. I like my house too. Yeah. 
Well, at least we're getting on the plane in the morning. In a few hours, we're about to get on the plane. We're about to get on the plane and go to Mimi's house? Uh, yep, in like 12 hours. It is 12 hours, Mom! Our last 12 hours in Colorado. It is last 12 hours! Last 12 hours. The countdown really begins now. Anyway. I need to get to Once Upon a Child and see if they can accept this stuff. Then after that, I have to go to Goodwill, drop the stuff off. Um, after I go to Goodwill and drop the stuff off, I'm going to go to the store. After I go to Goodwill and drop off the rest of the donations and stuff, um, I'm going to go to the store to get us something to eat for lunch and something to eat for dinner. And then after that, we can just go to Anna's house and chill out. And then we'll just have to be back here at six to yeah. give the person who's coming to pick up the shelf the shelf. So we'll just have to come in the house for a quick high and bye for that. Just sitting outside in my favorite spot on the balcony. Look at that tree we're always talking about. <laughs> all the leaves are gone. It's probably where all these leaves are coming from. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. So we're leaving just in time. We're, we're beating the snow. Hopefully we beat the snow. It doesn't snow before we have to drive uh, to Denver to the airport. But I'm just trying to bask in it for a few seconds. Since it's kind of our last day, our last full day. Well, our last day, because we're leaving at 4 a.m. And it's three o'clock, so we got about 12 more hours. So, just wanted to say bye. Bye bye. Come on, let's go, we gotta go. We gotta get y'all something to eat. I just got the shelf somebody took the shelf so got that and I just had to come back to the house to do that I went to once upon a child I got the girls some McDonald's oh well, okay guys I got rid of the last stuff that's in the house somebody came and picked up the last thing so we don't have to go back in the house anymore all of our clothes and bags are already in the car everything that we're taking to Virginia I'm scared to pull off because I'm trying to make sure like there's nothing else in the house that I'm, we're gonna need, but I know there is and I've, I've checked a billion times. <sighs> I just don't wanna leave the house. But this is it, saying goodbye to the house. I'm about to go back up to Starbucks, see if I can get any internet. Uh, text Deontay real quick one more time about this internet issue. But this is our last time leaving. So, bye house. Bye house, Mr. Bye house. 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 Bye bye. It's bye house. And there we go. Mom said already said bye. Bye house. So, yeah, I'm going to just run and get some gas, fill my car up so I can get to the airport and Anna can get the car back from the airport because I have no gas right now. And then just get, sit with the internet for a little bit. And uh, Ethan and Anna did get my text message and they tried to reboot the internet and everything. So hopefully that's good now. By the time I get back to their house, I hope it's working because if it's at least working, I can spend the rest of the night like relaxing and you know talking on the phone, texting, whatever. Because I will lose my mind if I have to sit in the house with just no internet again and these kids and no TV, and yeah, it's gonna drive me insane. 
I will sit at the Starbucks all freaking night if I have to because I, I can't take another night. I've already done three days, three, three days. And at least in those three days, I had a little bit of signal and you get on the phone for a couple seconds. So yeah, I do hope that when Ethan and Anna rebooted it, it like starts, it's working again. Cause I don't know what's going on with it, but if the internet is at least working, that'll at least make me happy because we really need that internet to be working as soon as possible. So, but okay, I'll see y'all when we get to Anna's house and we, when we get ready to go to bed and call it a night. We're all showered and dressed and ready to go and in our airport clothes. So yeah. Last night, Kyra. Last night. That's the best buddy. Last night. All right, y'all. I got a little bit of internet connection now. Yay. And the girls are just playing with cars. Everything's packed and ready to go. Here's baby girl. And there's Koa. So, now all that's left to do is go to sleep. I should have cleaned out my car like I wanted to. Um, but it's fine. I can literally just throw that stuff away on the way or something. I don't know. Give it to Ethan and Mama. They'll take it. Oh, and then they did just text me and let me know that they're on their flight and they're on the way here. And it, I feels like I'm, I'm like so excited that they're on the way here. Like I've just been sitting and waiting for them. Like I'm so excited for them to be here, but it's like I'm not about to see them. I'm about to just be like, hi, bye, thank you for the ride, and yeah, see you later for nine months. It feels like I'm just waiting for them to come back. <laughs> And I'm about to be going back to my house or something. I don't know. But good night, y'all. I'm about to and then go to sleep one more time for the good times in Colorado. And yeah, we love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next vlog, next video. Don't know when that will be because I'm going to make the travel vlog a separate vlog from everything else. But this was our last day in Colorado. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>